Hello again, I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'm joining you standing in a swamp. Um, this is not normally a swampy species, but it's grown along my woodland edge and the swamp's the only place I could get really good access to the flowers. This uh, shrub that I'm going to introduce you to today is called Black Hall. It's actually a viburnum. It's viburnum prunifolium. So black hall is fairly common in Ohio. It actually occurs from about Missouri through Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and all the way over to Virginia. It doesn't go very far south of us, and it really doesn't go very far north of Ohio either. You don't really find it much in the lake states. And then to our south, it has a cousin, uh, rusty black hall, which is a very similar looking species. So how do we identify black hall or viburnum prunifolium? Well, first of all, I mentioned that scientific name because that name gives us a clue. Prunifolium means cherry-like. So these leaves are very much like our native black cherry foliage. Leaves are elongate, they're kind of oblong, they have a very finely toothed edge or margin. Um, unlike black cherry though, these leaves are paired or opposite. So all the viburnums are opposite. You're going to have leaves in pairs, so wherever you have one, you're going to have one on the opposite side of the twig. And also the twigs are very much paired as well. So these leaves can get up to about three inches long. Again, they come to a nice point. They have a nice finely serrated leaf margin. They'll also have reddish petioles. So the little stalk where it attaches to the twig is somewhat reddish. And a lot of times on the edge of the leaf or the margin of the leaf, they're going to have a little bit of a reddish or pinkish tinge as well. Um, so again, viburnum prunifolium. Prunifolium means cherry-like, so these leaves do look a lot like black cherry leaves. So buds on the twigs are not very present right now. The leaves have just expanded, so new buds have not formed. But the buds are very unique. They are valvate, so they have two bud scales. Very similar to, black, or to yellow poplar or tulip tree, there are two bud scales that come together. Unlike yellow poplar, they're not duck-billed. They look more like a bird's beak. They're much more elongated. They're kind of pinkish or purplish in color, but you'll have a nice seam along the edge. So you've got these two bud scales that come together and make a nice seam, and they're somewhat elongate. The flower buds look very similar, except they're swollen at the base. And the Virginia Tech key mentions that they look like the buds of eating a BB. So you've got this normally elongate bud, but when it becomes a flower bud, it gets swollen down at the base. And those flower buds occur out towards the end of the twigs normally. Um, also mention the flowers. The flowers are in their full glory right now. These are about three inches or so in diameter. They're kind of creamy white. They got these yellow anthers popping out and they're very beautiful. Um, a lot of these shrubs a week or so ago were just covered even more than they are now. Some heavy rains I think have knocked some of those flowers off. But again, very showy viburnum. When these uh, flowers mature and they start to produce fruit, they're going to produce a little droop, maybe about a third inch or so in length. They're dark and purple in color, almost black, and they'll droop down in clusters. Very good for wildlife. It's a really nice shrub to have in your woods for that purpose as well. Twigs, as I mentioned, are opposite. They'll have a nice, you know, that central twig will be out there, and then you'll have the side twigs or the lateral twigs are going to come in at almost a 90 degree angle. And then the next set of twigs will be at a 90 degree angle. And so you've got these rows of parallel twigs coming together. And the way I remembered them, they look a lot like the old TV antennas. Now, some of the folks in the audience may not remember those, but the TV antennas used to have on the house before we had cable, you'll have these series of parallel little twigs that come together onto the central twig. So again, viburnum prunifolium. When we turn around and look at the main stem, you're going to have a stem that can get up to about three inches in diameter. The shrub can get up to about 20 feet or so in height. And that bark is real blocky. They'll be very small squared off little blocks, kind of like an alligator hide. And especially the lower part of the stem will be very blocky. It's one of my favorite shrubs. So again, this is black hall viburnum prunifolium. It's a wonderful native shrub. Thanks for your time and be sure to take at least part of your day to enjoy it in the woods.